hosting a first round game in the big dance. Buckle your seatbelts, folks. It's the best game of the first round, and Petey LaSalle wins the opening draw for UVA. Up. UVA hasn't played in over two weeks. Remember, last year entering the tournament, they didn't play for three weeks. That layoff should pay dividends with a couple of injuries. Schellenberger turns and scores. Beats the people's goalie down low under a minute in. And Connor Schellenberger, Mr. May, strikes first for UVA. For Virginia, exactly what they wanted to see. Schellenberger, your best offensive player, going to his offhand, his left hand. And right here, you can see it's a screen, the high to low shot. Through two way mid, he does the deed for UVA. Jeff Connor last year made a, an impact in the NCAA tournament, mainly on the offensive end. But what he can do both sides of the field is what differentiates his abilities. Schellenberg again! a corner and it's two goals for Connor Schellenberger in the opening three minutes. And what's become somewhat of a lost art in the college game, the slow break is always an offensive opportunity. And right here it's the nice job by Connor breaking the clear and the nice tic-tac-toe passing to Connor Schellenberger years old as the interim head coach at Tufts. Went on to win three D3 national championships and now here he is head man at Brown. Ryan Ogden on the setup. Devin McLean finishes it off and the Bears are on the board. This is why we highlighted Ogden in the open. He is the creator of this offense. Attacks the middle of the field. The nice pass to Devin McLean, Brown's leading scorer. The quick release of the far post. There's eight for the Cavs. Machete, the senior out of Potomac. Back to Kelly. Plenty of space, and they pick a corner. Griffin King ties it. Machete, the senior out of Potomac. Back to Kelly. Plenty of space, and they pick a corner. Griffin King ties it at two. Another excellent offensive set for Brown. Right here, just again, a nice job getting Virginia scramble. And King does a nice job stepping away, creating space. With his strong left hand, the high to high near side shot. New on clears. Speaking of five, here's Matt Moore on the setup. What a shot from Peter Garno, and what a stop from Connor Terriel. Hey, Kelly, the all Ivy League goalie is playing like it tonight. Brown in transition. Bears have their first lead. Ryan Barons goes coast to coast, and the freshman makes it 3-2. From one end to the other, Terriel Brown's outstanding keeper with a picture-perfect save in the cage and then gets it up in transition. Brands to the far park. What a moment. Welcome to the big show, young fella. Petey LaSalle can score himself, and UVA responds about 10 seconds later. This guy is not a Fogo. He's a face-off, stay out there, and score his eighth goal of the season. Well, that's a two-pointer in the PLL, right? And that's your face-off man, Petey LaSala. After the violation, pushes it in transition. Brown slow to engage. And let's look at the positioning here of the shot. It's to the off side, hip side, on the post. He has had some monumental goals in his count. Virginia riding hard, and Brown with the clear. What a shot, Sidewinder style from Brian Antonelli. And Bruno's back in front, 4-3. How 
smooth was that release from Antonelli. The nice job stepping up the field, creating angle, the low to high release to the far post. Again, it's the step up the field that makes this a possibility. And you're going to get a great look at it here. Look at the net open up to the far post. Or will trigger. Number five in Navy earlier this week, drafted fourth overall by Archer's LC to the PLL. Schellenberger around the crease, and that's a hat trick for the sophomore. What can't this kid do? We're tied again. I'm looking forward to seeing this replay. Is Connor Schellenberger able to stay out of the crease? Right here, it's the face dodge with nowhere to run. To me, it looks like the ball is in the back of the net and he's not diving at the goal mouth. A great individual effort for the reigning most out stick in half on the follow through. In front, Cormier, he's a Canadian box player. He's got the softest hands maybe in the ACC and he scores his first tonight to make it 5-4 Hoos. Virginia more than any team in the country can execute at the end of the shot clock because of players like Connor Schellenberger and Matt Moore. Right here, Schellenberger off the end line finds his favorite target, Peyton Cormier. Their leading goal scorer gets his 44th of the season. The big man with the incredibly soft hands, very low angle and the patience. Gets the Cavaliers up 5-4 in a back and forth affair in Providence. Lasala tries to chase down the faceoff. Scooped up, Scott Bauer, it sticks in his cross, he fires, and it's a pole goal for the Cavs. Scott Bauer has his second of the season. We've given Brown and their wings all the credit so far in this game, and Scott Bauer from Texas. I mean, the release on this shot, he looks like it. I mean, the three-quarter the far post. He looked like an offensive mini there. Here's Griffin King, who's been busy. He's got the short stick, Noah Chismar on him. Glavin shoots and scores. Trevor Glavin is on the board, and Brown is back within one. And right here, just a nice job coming up the left side. Cade Southstead for Virginia decides to come in front of the cage. And Trevor Glavin takes advantage. Right, Southstead can't get on his glove soon enough. Nunes comes off. Ogovin just subbed on. Long runway for the unanimous first team all Ivy Leaguer with space. He shoots and buries it. And we're tied at sixes in Providence. Ryan Augevin showing why he was drafted to the professional lacrosse league. This is elite range on the run, near side low. Virginia gives him too much of a leeway, and he's too fast and too skilled. Realistically, Matt, nothing can emulate this environment, right? This is great. I mean, the crowd, both sides of the field, packed attendance. Here's Reed Machete with the short stick, and he takes advantage, and Bruno is back out in front. Reed Machete is a big body. The senior nets his 13th of the season right here again. Doesn't need a lot of separation. And we're going to see the release, the high to high to the far post. Just enough pay. Five, a guy who squats 500 plus who wins the faceoff for UVA. Here comes Connor on the setup. Cormier doesn't need a whole lot of space on the angle. We're tied again. Petey 
Lasalla picks up the contested ground ball and gets it over to Connor, who finds Cormier, who missed an opportunity a moment ago, but here in his prime spot on the field, goal line extended. Better wings than Brown. I haven't seen any. Here's Ryan Ogovin. Plenty of speed. He can shoot on the run and through contact. Noons has the stop. And it rolls to Jeff Connor. And here come the Hoos on the break. Potential five on three. Ogovin right on Connor's heels. In front, Connor Schellenberger buries his fourth of the evening. And UVA is out in front again. This all starts with the freshman Matt Noons in the cage. We highlighted him for a reason. That's his best save of the contest. He gets it up and then it's Connor who finds Schellenberger on the near side. I mean, he may be below the goal line extended. One quick fake. Jeff Connor to Connor Schellenberger. Four goals tonight and four lead changes. Already one pull goal for UVA tonight. Make it two. Ben Ware, the sophomore D-man, has a two-goal lead for the Hoos. That's their third goal in transition. Ware, who is their starting long stick coming into the season, has battled injuries. And right here we're going to see LaSalle, we talked about, win the faceoff to himself quickly. Is when they're at their best, and then he does a nice job pushing in transition. And Parker, number eight, finds the long stick midi. Alls with 20 to shoot. Cormier splits the double. Again, a little careless with the ball, and it's taken away by Barons. Here comes Brown in transition again. Still has a pull goal for Brown. If you've got a long stick on this field tonight, you are invited to score. And go Bruno's back within one. The turnover. Cormier runs into the middle of the field in traffic. Brown puts the ball on the deck and then the slow break. With the soft hands and the finish to the far post. From eight different players. Here's Augman. He's one of them. Two man game. Nolan Rockefeller strikes oil, and we're tied again. Virginia is upset at the substitution box. They thought they were interfered with in their subbing, and Brown takes advantage. Again, it takes perfect placement to get it past Noons in the cage. And Rockefeller up to task. Love that release. 5% of the time they kill off the penalty. UVA operates at 50% on the man up. Something's got to give. In front, it's Xander Dixon, who puts the Hoos back out in front. The Brown man down defense caught napping early on in the possession. UVA gets the ball behind the cage to Matt Moore, who finds a cutting Xander Dixon with a quick release, changing planes. Right here, Matt Moore, the nice, accurate pass. And the high to low finish to the corner. Back and forth we go. Under 10. McLean tries to make something happen. King scooped it, saved by Nunes. Jack Peel streaking across the middle. He's got a runway, and he buries it. Who's back in front by two? Jack Peel has his third goal of the season. What a difference an inch makes. Griffin King fires the backhand off the far post, and then Virginia picks it up. 
gets it going in transition, and Peel, who was an offensive midi for a couple years, has transitioned to that deep midi. Very skilled on the run. Maryland at noon. Simmons draws the short stick. Screen from Moore, back to him, and now he's got the shorty, Grayson Wolfram on him. Brown's probably going to be early to slide here. In front, Corbier with plenty of real estate, and you cannot give 2-4 that much room. Hat trick for Cormier. Cormier Mac making up for a few mistakes, but credit Matt Moore and Virginia being very smart schematically with a two-man game behind, getting Matt Moore matched up on the short stick. That forces Brown to slide early, opening up the middle of the field where Cormier fills the space. And then again, that little stick hesitation opens up his shooting lane, gets his hat trick. Last shot here. They also have a flag down. They'll go to the extra man to start the fourth quarter, assuming they hold for one. And so if I'm Virginia here, I wait till like three seconds before I take a shot or score right away. What do I know? Matt Moore says, I'm not wasting any time. The grad student is on the board with a goal, and Virginia has its largest lead tonight. My thinking was you wait till three seconds or so to take a shot, and then you get to hold the ball. Is wiped out. No face off. The goal. But Matt Moore saw the opportunity off the quick split up the front of the field. Comes near side. Earlier this week, and he was rocking an incredible, immaculate sweater on a sports center with Sage Steel the next day, Wednesday. Right now we're locked in on the NCAA tournament. First round, Brown hosting UVA, the two-time reigning national champs, having to go on the road for just the third time since 1988. In front, Cormier again. Ring him up for Peyton Cormier, his fourth goal tonight. Virginia gets Brown caught in front of the cage. And just the nice cut. I mean, Cormier's ability to finish at the goal mouth is as good as anyone in the country. Usually you want a little more space. He gets as close. Got to start watching the clock if you're a Brown fan. 11 to play, down by five. Moore, fake the shot, takes the lefty bouncer. And with 15 to shoot, it'll stay here. Schellenberger. Cormier has another. Did he throw that in with his left hand? Five goals for the junior out of Ontario. Mentioned it earlier, earlier in the matchup. Virginia with their two players end of shot clock. They don't care because they can actually win their matchups off the end line. And just the nice job, the touch pass from Schellenberger. I can't tell you how hard it is to throw that pass that soft, right? When you're that key to defending Ogden is to engage him early. Do not let him get a full head of steam. And Bauer did a nice job there. McLean forced that shot. Easy money for Matt Nunes. The freshman has 14 saves in his first NCAA tournament game. I know UVA has played a lot of impressive tournament games the last three years. This has got to be right up there in terms of a full unit effort. I think all over the field they've played well. I, th I think there was three or four really careless offensive possessions, right, which against the Maryland team in the next round you probably can't afford. But again, this is a really good Brown team. They're really athletic, like the up-tempo pace. Look out. Moore with a step. And that's too easy for Matt Moore. Seven straight goals for the Hoos. Connor Schellenberger and Matt Moore really have.
have been a difference here in this matchup. The two probably off best offensive players on the field making an impact, both as initiators and feeders. And right here, Matt Moore matched up on the long stick. More of a right-handed player, but he has developed that left hand right here, near side high. Yeah, I mean, you're who's in 06, Syracuse in 1990. They're gonna be up there with some of the best teams ever. I'm gonna say it again, though. Don't sleep on Vermont. If, they, if you see those guys walk off the walk off the bus, they look like a Power Five team. And Virginia is just pouring it on right now. Xander Dixon has his second tonight and the eighth in a row for UVA. Connor Schellenberger. Picking up where he left off last year. The nice pass, the nice footwork from Xander Dixon. And to me, his release is as pretty as it gets, particularly for this UVA team. I love watching him shoot more than anyone else, especially. 60 to shoot for Brown and Griffin King. Antonelli fires again and beats Noon's five hole. Antonelli does a nice job showing near side. His last shot was low to high off the post. This time changes it up, goes low to low near side. Well, I'll tell you who passed the eye test tonight. Virginia. The champs are still sitting on the throne, folks. The Hoos go on the road and put it on Brown in the first round. The second half performance that Virginia hopes to build on as they make a run in the NCAA tournament. Virginia has won nine consecutive NCAA tournament games. They're off to the quarterfinals to face the winner of Vermont and Maryland. And the head coach, Lars Tiffany, always so gracious with his time.